Brilliant Stars Booster Box. That's what we're opening up in today's video. We have a full 36 pack box full of Brilliant Stars to open up today. I am hyped. The major chase cards we're after for today are of course going to be the RCS V Star, the RCS V, all the different Charizards they have as well in this set. And of course, if you guys wanna buy any Brilliant Stars Pokemon cards, I'll leave links down below to places where you can buy them. They're all trusted. And of course, I'll have my own website down below there as well. And I also sell my singles on eBay where I'm probably gonna list a bunch of these later tonight. 36 packs, it's been a while since I've, uh, I've actually opened up a booster uh, booster box so I'm hyped about this and I don't think we're gonna do a card trick for any of these packs just because I want to keep this video as quick as concise as possible for you guys let me get the the camera there we go all right and we're going to have to move this light to my side because it's casting an ugly ugly shadow over these but here we go lighting is now fixed it's gonna take some getting used to I think I'm gonna try and do a top-down setting uh, very soon so I'll have to figure that out but here we go let's get to this next pack of brilliant stars and uh, of course if you guys want to see a bunch more brilliant stars opened up on the channel I'll leave a link down below to uh, to the playlist of course Ooh, I think I see something shiny I'll leave a link down below to the playlist of course oh there we go flygon v very nice first pull for this video flygon v actually might be uh, competitively viable it wasn't really like uh uh, a thought that people were excited about necessarily this set but when you combo in the Arceus V star and the Arceus V you can combo like pretty much Arceus with any deck so pretty much like there were so many so many V's and V maxes and cards in the game that pretty much just go like unplayed uh, just because it's kind of hard to accelerate energies we got a Garchomp Hollow Rare because of Arceus it's that much more easier now to uh, to play those trickier Pokemon that require like two different types of energy compared to just one one. And if it's just one, you know, that just does, it does help a lot. Let me fix this lighting. It does help a lot with the, uh, with the consistency factor. But here we go. Next pack, we got a Buizel, Halucha, Throw, Magmar, Wormadam. Muck is our non holo right there. And one of you guys can go ahead. Let's keep it moving. I'm curious what will be our very first, uh, first V star of this video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, we did do the other like V star boxes. Oh, there we go. We got a Hound Doom single strike. Very nice first uh, gallery rare uh, pull from this, the trainer gallery. And a Clefable non hollow. Um, but yeah, we did open up the Leafeon and the Glaceon V star boxes. So if you guys haven't yet seen those videos, absolutely check them out. And if you guys haven't entered, uh, if you're from Toronto, the GTA, you guys are going to want to check out the. Oh, Ultra Ball needed that. Um, you guys are going to want to check out the Manta Trading Pokemon Card Tournament on Sunday, tomorrow, uh, March 13. Um, if you are from Toronto, if you are from the GTA, you guys want to compete in that event. $750 in prizing and a $20 ticket to enter the tournament. Unfortunately, uh, some of you guys know this if you follow me on Twitter, it's at SneakerTalkCA. Um, I'm not going to be able to attend the Liverpool regional event in the UK. Ooh. However, I'm still going. I'm still going to the UK. It's just that tickets sold out really fast. We got a Simisir V right there to start off our V uh, fire train. Hopefully, we can get a Charizard soon. Magma Basin, also an important card for those fire type decks. Let me get all the hits together, actually, too. I'm just going to count the hits for this video as a V card or better, or as a... Um, as a trainer gallery card because hollow rares they're cool and all but like most of them are worth like a dollar and so v's and the trainer galleries are worth a bit more so we'll consider those like the actual actual hits but here we go go let chemeco chimchar go lurk and a Breloom non hollow for that oh double turbo energy do need those next pack here we go and uh yeah when it comes to uh when it comes to the uk the liverpool regional i'm gonna be attending the event potentially and like hanging out with people but uh, they just sold out a ticket so fast. So unfortunately, I'm going to be flying all the way to another country, to another continent, and not be able to play Pokemon because they just did a really bad job when it comes to releasing the tickets and stuff like that. And it was planning to go to, um, planning to go to the, uh, the, the determined, uh, the European International Tournament. Uh, I believe that's going to be in Frankfurt, Germany. Tickets to go there, uh, like one way or I think round trip. Yeah, the round trip tickets were like 650 Canadian dollars. Uh, and I just got my Google flights notification today that those $650 flights are now 1,000 
fifty dollars. So, um, yeah, the longer it takes, the longer it takes for these organize or tournament organizers to release tickets. Uh, it's costing me more and more money to fly out there if I want to attend. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to make that same mis mistake twice. We got a Mimikyu V right there as our uh, V card hit. And this is actually a reprint. So, yeah, the dilemma here is that uh, it's I'm not going to bother buying a, a plane ticket if I don't know if I'm attending the event. Because me going to Europe, me going to the UK for that first regionals and not going definitely hurts it definitely hurts my bank account a bit because i'm not going to get the full value out of the trip so i'm not going to try and uh, screw myself over when it comes to going to the european international pokemon card tournament if i'm able to find maybe you know flight tickets that have a refund policy the barrel going to be a staple so this is like a hollow rare card that is going to probably be be worth like two or three dollars uh, just because of how playable it is in so many different decks so yeah i'm not trying to not trying to finesse myself if i'm going to buy tickets anymore for going to these pokemon tournaments like outside of canada i'm gonna have to get those tickets that have a refund policy or a, a change flight policy Ooh, we got an alchemy gallery rare trainer gallery hits and a mag mortar oh that's so cool so in this art right here for the mag mortar the non-hollow he's fighting or it's fighting the electivire but in the electivire art it's fighting mag mortar so i love that they have like a storytelling element between these two cards and you guys know that the charizard alternate art in this set uh does have the uh the fight scene basically with venusaur so it would have been cool if they did like another another venusaur like a venusaur v-star if venusaur v-star came out in this set and they like made it have an alternate art where it's fighting Charizard to show the other POV of uh, Venusaur fighting Charizard. That'd be really sick. A life card. I do need this card for my Eternatus deck. So that is really needed. Not looking too, too uh, on fire for this booster box. But let's see how this goes. We got a Starly. We got a zoom in action. We got Spiritomb, Purloin, Milsri, Shinx, Luxray. Ooh, there we go. A hit. We got Marnie's Pride. Full art trainer. That is awesome. Take a look at that. And what else do we have behind here? Not too much, but yo, that is dope. A Marnie's Pride full art. I will take that. Absolutely happy that we pulled Marnie's Pride. I don't know how playable it is at the moment. I really haven't seen too many decks with uh, with Marnie's Pride in them. But for the binder, definitely a good card to add to the binder right there. There's also Ace Rolla's Premonition in this set which uh, combos perfectly with like Mimikyu. Like Mimikyu has an attack that literally does more damage if you used Ace Rolla's Premonition in this set. So hopefully we can get a cool Mimikyu VMAX Dusk Noir Hollow Rare. Definitely a solid Hollow Rare to pull right there. This card might see some competitive play down the road. Not too sure at the moment, but the ability is pretty solid. We have, uh, I think we're halfway through the box. So we are halfway through the box, but let's keep it moving. Duskull. Farfetch, execute a, there we go, Ariados Trainer Gallery right there. We've already pulled this already. Let's see what the next card is, Wormadam. So yeah, we do have doubles of this. So if you guys want to get some Trainer Gallery cards, I'll leave them in my eBay store linked down below. Prices will all be competitive. They'll all be market value. Some of them will be better than market value. But of course, I do include free bonus Pokemon cards in every single order. Some cool rare cards, non hollows some playable cards, some Japanese foreign cards. Uh, sometimes I like to do themed bonuses, so I'll have like a full evolution of a lineup. And there we go. Roseanne's backup. Hyper rare. The full art right there is dope. Oh, that looks cool. I love that. Roseanne's backup actually has some potential. There's a lot of potential for this card in the uh, the competitive scene. So dope. We got two we got two uh two full art trainers right there so far. Of course, we're going to do a recap at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I'll also do like a YouTube short and a TikTok. And by the way, if you guys aren't yet following your boy on TikTok, follow your boy on TikTok. It's Sneaker Talk TCG and I upload some vertical content over on there. So if you're over on the TikToks, I got you covered with some more Pokemon openings, all the good stuff on there. But here we go, let's keep it moving. I'm getting hungry. I gotta get some uh, Gotta get some dinner real soon. We got Electabuzz, Halucha, Gibble, Buizel, Trap Inch, Execute, and a Zamazenta V. Nice, and this is the new Zamazenta V. It's not the same Zamazenta V we saw in a Sword and Shield base set. This one has a different ability, different attack. It actually has some potential and it could be pretty useful for uh, for doing like a Zacian V Union deck because you have to discard your whole hand. Um, so yeah, Zamazenta V. I have tried this card out a little bit in the online TCG. It has proven pretty handy, pretty handy in some cases. However, uh, it's just, 
It's 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 like one of those tech cards. You just put one in the deck. You're not really gonna build your whole deck around Zamazenta V. I mean, there there is potential for that, um, but at the moment, I'm still running my Zacian V deck. I will be doing a uh, a Zacian V deck profile Lucario Hollow Rare. I'll be doing a Zacian V deck profile for the tournament uh, tomorrow. So if you guys want to see what the Zacian V was like, one of the more popular decks in the format. And then uh, since Brilliant Stars came out, since Fusion Strike came out, its popularity has gone down immensely. Um, so I probably will be the only Zacian V deck at the tournament. I will be an underdog, <laughs> ironically enough, or uh, how, whatever the term is. Like it's just funny. Like you know, I, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to be an underdog with a Zacian V Legendary Dog uh, Pokemon deck. And from what I've seen from the uh, the Brisbane tournament results, top eight is looking like. Dust, uh, not dust. We got Dust Noir and Reverse Hollow Escavalier there. Uh, the main meta right now is is Mew VMAX. Top eight was half Mew VMAX and half RCS V Star decks. So we need those cards, man. I need one more Mew VMAX. I need like three more Mew Vs. Um, I need RCS V Star. Like, there's a lot I need in the set. Um, so if I don't pull them in this booster box, there we go. Dust Noir Trainer Gallery. That looks pretty dope. I'll take that. That's awesome. And an Infernape Hollow Rare, not too shabby. Uh, hopefully, we can get the cards I need, so I don't have to buy them as singles. But hey, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy them as singles. If you guys like are new to the trading card game, it is always, always, always cheaper to just buy the single Pokemon cards you guys want if you're building decks, if you're trying to collect. But if you like the experience of opening up packs and uh, trying to pull the cards yourself, then booster boxes are usually the best bang for your buck in terms of like dollar per pack kind of thing. So again, if you guys need cards from your boy, links down below to all places, including my web store and a couple of other trusted sellers where I have some promo codes as well there. And uh, yeah, Electivire, there we go. All right, let's see what else we got. We have, we're running low on packs. We are running low on packs. We have six more booster packs left. And I see, I see some Charizard pack art. I see some Arceus pack art. So hopefully we can get some heat. But take a look at this, bro. Look at this. This thing is loaded with cards. The booster boxes do get messy. They, they do get messy on my table. All right, we got six packs left. Let's keep it moving. Can we get one V-Star? Or is this box like a complete brick uh, with no V-Stars? Because I've seen, I've seen a fair amount of boxes with some amazing, amazing pulls. So here we go, Manaphy and a Empoleon Hollow Rare, another card that will be going into my eBay store. And here's a look at the regular art for Marnie's Pride. That's what it looks like. I'ma have to say that the uh, <laughs> that the full art is definitely a better, better art out of the two. But here we go, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. We got a Chai Mecco. Oh my gosh, it's so weird opening up packs like this again. I, I definitely wanna get like a top-down card cam. Ooh, two Grim Snarls. That's pretty cool. I definitely want to set up a top-down card cam. I think that's probably going to be the play. To keep my desk as clean as possible, but I don't open up booster boxes too, too often. So here we go. Let's go. We got a Purloin, Sneasel, Duskull, a Corfish, Magmar, Farfetch Reverse, a Kingler VMAX. Okay. Oof, that is rough. That will take up a valuable, valuable VMAX spot in our booster box right here. Not too big of a fan of Kingler VMAX or just Kingler in general. I love snow crab legs though. Don't get me wrong. I will happily eat a Kingler size snow crab legs. You guys know if you guys if you guys know me, I love to eat. I may be skinny, but I am the I'm that skinny guy who has like a bottomless pit in his stomach. You will catch me at those buffets. You'll catch me at those places with the Mewtwo non-hollow. You guys will catch me at those places where it's like all you can eat or eat by the like eat a lot of I eat a lot, bro. If there's crab legs on the menu, I am going to tear it up. That is that goes without saying. If you guys like crab legs too, comment about comment down below crab leg gang. Um, but with that said, we're also gonna do a giveaway in today's video. If you made it to the end, there we go. And Arceus, that is awesome. I'm very, very happy about that. We're gonna put that to the side. And then, uh, yeah, so we have one last pack left. We're gonna do the recap right now and the giveaway for today's video. So I do need them Arceus V. I am gonna keep the Marnie's Pride, but the rest of the cards here, uh, I, I will keep the Roseanne's backup, let's be honest. All right, so the rest of the cards here, they're all gonna be up for grabs. And uh, all you have to do is comment down below which two cards you want for the giveaway. So we have a Dusk Noir, we have a Zamazenta V, Ariados, Mimikyu V, a Flygon V, a Houndoom, 
a Simiseer, and an Alcremes. I'll announce the winner in an upcoming video. And one lucky commenter within the first 48, 72 hours of this video going up will receive those two cards for 100% free. So best of luck to everybody in the giveaway. But now let's get to our final pack. And of course, well, I'm gonna keep these for myself, but these were the other hits. And then let's see what we have out of this last pack. Can we pull one V-Star out of Brilliant Stars or did we get a, a uh, not so brilliant box? Did we get Brick Stars? Here we go, Star U, Blast. Umbreon VMAX single strike, the trainer gallery, let's go, that is awesome, take a look at that, what a nice, nice hit, and our last card is, or the last major one, is a Manaphy non-hollow, that means we did at least get a really nice VMAX alternate art there, I'm super happy about that, I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace out.